So, Michelle, you look so scared. Are you afraid I'm going to cry again? Is that what is that what this is? Maybe. <laughs> I, appre- I First of all, I want to start the show by saying thank you to everybody who uh, reached out and said something nice or or tipped the show just to show their support or what have you. Um, thank you. Uh, and thank you for not being totally thrown off by my emotional thing. I mean, it's not like I cried the whole episode. It's not like the episode was entirely sad anyway. Mm -hmm. And now if you're listening to this and you didn't hear last week's episode, you're like, oh shit, you know, I gotta go (laughs) listen to that episode. Um, but no. So since we last spoke, I found out that I had to go back to, you know, working fully like for real, for those who don't know, I make movies for a living and it's very physically demanding. And I've been recovering from COVID for quite a while. I was actually just talking to my friend Iabu who had long COVID, long haul COVID as well. And she said that she, it's been four and a half, almost five months since she's had COVID and she still has one symptom that isn't quite gone. Wow. Yeah. So, but she said it's, it's very minor, but it is still there. Wow. So uh, yeah. <laughs> so anyway, uh, we were talking about the fact that some circumstances beyond my control revealed themselves and made me have to push myself further than I had in a while. So I was a little emotional because I was like, I don't even know if I can do this. So since then, I have been working very hard to get myself in a position where I can handle uh, living, I guess, if you <laughs> if you want to, you know, mince words. So uh, I am, we're, as of the day we're recording this, I am three days without junk food, or at least what I would call, I mean, I, I, it's a light definition. I don't consider ramen noodles one, one time junk food because that's a comfort food that's still veg- or vegan. So what? Why are you making that face? There's no way it's vegan. I had the soy sauce one. Yeah, but doesn't it have like, like chicken broth? Not the soy sauce one. Really? It's I'm, I'm almost certain. It's it's soy sauce broth. Mm-hmm. It used to be called the Oriental kind. Uh, okay. Okay. Look, when I typed in soy sauce ramen, the first thing that auto filled was vegan. Soy sauce is vegan. <laughs> okay, in fine. Your face, and that's the source is fucking pita, and they like make stuff up, so you know it's got to be true. <laughs> <laughs> but no I, so i had a soy sauce ramen and uh like because it was cold on monday morning and i had told myself like i could have little relative i mean i'm not gonna i'm not it's not all about just being vegan it's about i mean i could have a little bit of animal product here and there if it's not too bad but like very little bit here and there so the goal being to just do better because i was <laughs> between being locked down and then being ill eating junk food really seemed to make the most sense, you know, (laughs) as far as like to cheer myself up, to give Mm -hmm. myself something to do. So the fact that I haven't eaten any fast food and I've been consuming maybe 1400 calories a day tops is pretty good. So when I get my craving, I'm like, I want to go to Wendy's. You know what the worst has been is Wendy's because once or twice a week, when I, when I got into the groove of like just living with misery <laughs> of, of like the recovering from COVID, I, while I wasn't, I, I know I talk like I wasn't working at all, but I was actually working the whole time. I mean, we never stopped the podcast, even though I was sick, not this one or weekly spooky. Right. And I kept running my business. I just had to do the bare minimum every day. Yeah. Like the least I could do was what I would do. So I still had to go to the post office at least twice a week. And, uh, the thing that kept me like positive when I'd go to the post office was there was a Wendy's next door. <laughs> so I, I got very reliant on my uh, number one Dave's double with extra cheese uh, and a Diet Coke. Yeah, yeah, I guess. I don't even know what that means. See, you, I hate you so much because, well, there's lots of good reasons, but there's plenty. <laughs> But you're not a fast food person in the least. And I hate you for it because number one, I love fast food. And number two, I know that I should not love fast food. Um, what? What? Say something. Say something. Say something. <laughs> 
you got to understand, <laughs> there's like not a lot of options for someone who doesn't eat meat at a fast food place, True. especially like good options. I mean, you really um, just got Taco Bell. I guess. Taco Bell has a massive vegetarian menu now. I know. I know they do. Um, <laughs> but like, there's just, there's not a lot for me, you know? Mm -hmm. And there even used to be more. Well, and that like pushed you out of the habit of going through a drive through because there was no options. Yeah, plus it just because you're better than me because you're no, better than no, me. No, because I'm scared. I don't understand them. And you go there and then you say a thing and you got to go up. And what if you mess up or they don't know who you are? I don't want to do that. That's terrible. I, uh, I, you know that I'm thinking about when we went to McDonald's to get ice cream once. I know. I know you and, are. And didn't, didn't you just drop all the ice cream? No, I mean, yes, but she handed it to me and I just missed and it like went on the side of my car and down <laughs> and she gave me more. <laughs> but then I had to drive home with ice cream all over the side. Of <laughs> when one thing about Michelle and I when we hang out is definitely that <laughs> I try to encourage Michelle to have some fun because she refuses to ever have fun. So I'll be like, hey, Michelle, let's get a little ice cream. And you'll be like, oh, no, 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 no. And I'll be like, yeah. what if we get a little ice cream? You're like, oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> and usually the way it works is I'll get you like when we're at a diner or something together. That's when I could be like, no, 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 let's get a little milkshake or something if you want. Um, the most famous example being when I would not let you not have a milkshake when you sealed the deal on your first house. Mm -hmm. I was like, sorry about you. You're getting a milkshake. Choose a flavor I choose for you. But uh, I remember that time we just, I just wanted ice cream and I wanted you to have some ice cream. So I was like, let's just go through the drive-thru at McDonald's. It's the easiest way to get very good soft serve ice cream. Yeah, we were going to go to the, like, what's across the street? Like a Baskin Robbins. Or oh, yeah. Something. Was that even what that is? I don't know what it was. Or a Cold Stone or some no, bullshit. No, 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 no. There's no? not a Cold Stone over here. I'm it's, sorry. It's, I think, it, I don't even remember. And I should know because it's like right down the street. But yeah, but there was this crazy just line of people. Oh yeah, no, it was no, it was a Dairy me. Queen. It was a Dairy Queen. Oh okay, yeah, it was that a makes Dairy Queen. Sense. Yeah, that's yeah, that and it was completely packed. Mm -hmm. So no go on that one, homie. Um, yeah. but no, so yeah, I know that you're not a, a versed to drive-throughs, and I am extremely. I find drive-throughs comforting, and I'm I'm totally fucked when it comes to the emotionality of food. That's just the truth. That, that's okay. It's probably less scary than going in the business. I mean, I like, oh. I like the drive through. I've always liked drive through. So, but no, so I, uh, you know, uh, so I've been eating pretty much vegan, but definitely, definitely vegetarian. Um, like I, I told myself when I started, I was like, I know that I'm under a lot of stress and I've been stress eating a lot. So I'm not going to do my hardcore, crazy, scary vegan. That makes me lose super fast weight. I'm going to go for something a little bit more modest, you know, moderate to, to allow me to like, if I have a really bad day or a really stressful day, or I work really hard and I really want to reward myself, I could have like a burrito bowl and like a little sour cream because I like sour cream, mm -hmm. you know, and that, and that I'm not going to make it a big deal, but it's not going to be every meal. It's not going to be all the time. Yeah. Um, so the positives are I'm sleeping better at night already. Um, okay. well, a lot of the benefits are just from not having food in your system all the damn time. Like I can't over suggest enough. If, if you're listening out there and you go to bed, um, you eat before bed at all. Don't, um, go to bed on an empty stomach. You will sleep so good. <laughs> I learned that the hard way because I used to like be a big proponent of midnight snacks like all the time. And now I'm like, no, it seems like the body rewards you. My body rewards me for not digesting anything uh, while I'm sleeping. It's like, oh, thank God we get a fucking break from you just cr using your fucking head as a garbage disposal. So, uh, <laughs> but no, so um, what was my point? I have, I have I no idea I, anymore. I don't uh, oh, no. So number one, sleeping better. That's mm -hmm. number one right away. Uh, and sleeping better means waking up better. Um, so and that kind of falls into a big deal, which is that um, Tuesday, yesterday, yeah. I worked like a seven hour day in my office. 
which wow. I haven't done in forever. And I mean, yeah. se- I don't mean like a seven hour day. Like I got up and I worked, but then I took a long break and then I came back and then I took another break and then I came back. No, I mean like I sat in my office for seven hours and I worked, you know, I even ate my lunch in the office cause I was kind of on a roll and I wanted to see how much I could actually get done in the day. Mm-hmm. So that's good. You yeah. know, that's a good thing. Yeah. Uh, and today I'm kind of on track the same, except I'm running out of work. Uh, oh, no for today oh that's okay it's a beautiful day i'm gonna go lay in my hammock when you and i are done okay um (laughs) talking i tried to do the show in the hammock but it wouldn't work you could you could have figured it out chicano is licking my leg and will not stop i'm like trying to shove him away and he's just like he's just like oh this is a game now i gotta keep licking (laughs) even though you're trying to stop me um but but no so so that's been a big change um uh well oh and then i i said this to my buddy dan uh earlier today uh the other thing that changed really fast that i didn't think would change so fast is my visits to the bathroom are now like an episode of house md they're unpredictable but i'm happy with them or they're predictable sorry i said ah, i fucked up the joke they're they're totally predictable okay that makes more yeah, sense they're totally predictable but i'm happy about it okay <laughs> um so yeah i mean like all these benefits immediately and uh but then on the other side i'm fucking grouchy and i hate everything half the time and anytime i'm not distracted all i think about is i would like to be eating junk food (laughs) like i'll be like that was the worst part about after that seven hour work day was done i was like all right that's all done and then i was like well everything's fucking bullshit oh i hate everything um so for those who may be wondering, and why would they, what I've mostly been eating is not is not ramen noodles. I've mostly been eating this meal replacement uh, called Huel, like fuel, but with an H. Huel stands for human fuel. I'm assuming because it's made from people. Mm-hmm. Um, but um, it's uh, it started out as a meal, you know, replacement milkshake kind of thing or shake Mm -hmm. not milkshake but a shake and i was not impressed by that until i found out that it was soy free but also vegan okay Um, because one tricky thing with like not eating animal products is you don't want to get way too much soy yeah you know you don't want to lean too hard i'm not one of those people that thinks that like soy will give you an immense amount of estrogen but too much soy is not great for you especially not for men Mm -hmm. some soy is very good for you though It's just that, you know, if you get way too into meat substitutes and stuff like that, all you're eating is soy all day long. So, and I don't like soy milk too thick. Anyway, Hmm. it's too thick. I want almond milk Hmm. anyway. um, But so I've been eating them Well, they, they, they've been drinking them. Well, they came out about eight months ago with a new version of Huel that is called Huel hot and savory. And instead of being a shake, it is like, um, like a porridge. I don't know how else to describe it. Like a porridge. Your face. Why are you making that face? No, no, continue. No, no. Why are you making that face? No, I, it, it sounds really good. Well, no, so here's the thing. I've had two flavors so far. One, I was like, oh my God, this is so good. Uh, it was their Mexican chili. Mm-hmm. And the other one was the sweet and sour. That one was okay honestly the flavoring just it wasn't it was just kind of under spiced okay yeah but yeah. the funny thing i was eating i was like i don't know if i like this and then about halfway through the serving i was like eating it faster and i was like no but i'm so hungry and this is really like hitting the spot but no but that's the, that's what you want from food though is you i mean hunger makes you appreciate food mm-hmm. you know even if it's yeah. not the best food in the world so i was eating i was like oh i was really good so next time i think i'm just gonna blast it with some uh hot sauce and i think okay. it'll taste much better yeah. but i probably won't order that one again i'll try a different one because that one's but the mexican chili big surprise is probably gonna be one i i keep eating um but it's quinoa and brown rice and pea protein and stuff like that but oh. the cool but the cool thing the thing that nobody seems to care maybe it's because i'm the only one who battles with being fat uh in this fucking planet but the thing that nobody seems to think is impressive that i think is impressive about this fuel hot and savory thing is there are two battles with food for me Mm -hmm. the first battle is comfort and that battle you can kind of win it if you just keep eating different food you start to want the food you eat but it, it, it takes a lot of work but it's doable but the second front is convenience 
The drive through is convenient. I liked that I would run to the post office around about lunchtime and get lunch on the way back. That was convenient and in a way fun. So then you look at, okay, well, so what do we do if we want convenient food? Well, you could switch to like microwave dinners, but they have a lot of salt. Oftentimes they're, they're, gross. they're kind of gross. Oftentimes they're not vegan or vegetarian, you know, stuff like that. So it's like, okay, well, if not that, you know, then you got the marrow chan ramen and stuff. It's like, that's great, but you don't want to eat that every single day. It's too salty. Maybe once mm-hmm. a week, twice a week. I like it, especially I probably wouldn't have had any ramen this week, but it was so cold on Tuesday yeah. morning that yeah. I was like, hell yeah. You know, I ate that mm-hmm. ramen. But um, so my point is the reason I'm like, I'm not here to proselytize Huel. It, it's, it's a little pricey. Um, you may or may not like it. Uh, I don't care if you like it because I seem to be liking it and I'm going to try some more flavors. Yeah. Uh, it comes out, the hot and savory comes out to a little under $4 a meal. Um, and the meals are 400 calories. And the way that they, the way Huel sells it is it's like, if you want to lose weight, replace meals with Huel. If you want to gain weight, eat Huel meals yeah. between your meals. Mm-hmm. Um, I will say the vanilla Huel shake is actually really delicious. That um, sounds kind of nice. The berry one isn't that good. Mm. I'm going to get the salted caramel next. Mm. I It sounds good. Yeah. I just like don't. <laughs> don't I'm like, like not. Oh, yeah. That's that's basically <laughs> it. I don't want the best, the best, <laughs> nicest flavors. No, what were you going to say? Oh, I was just going to say like I'm just not right now in the mood for sugar. Like I just uh-huh. want like thick shake. They actually have one that is unflavored and it's no, 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 but like, it's not like unflavored yogurt. It's just oaty and light tasting. Okay. And I actually didn't hate unflavored very much at all. Okay. A lot of the bodybuilder dudes who are drinking Huel for, to help with mass and, and uh, you know, and calories to burn during their mm-hmm. workouts, they skip it. They go straight to the unflavored because there's zero sugar, zero like car- uh, net carbs and stuff. As opposed to the other ones have a light amount of sugar and sweeteners. Okay. Um, That makes sense. So I actually was surprised that some people were, that people had told me like, try it. You might like it. But um, the vanilla one's nice. So I figure next one I'll get is chocolate and I'm going to get salted caramel Mm -hmm. and see what they're like. I've also, although I'm not a big coffee guy, I've been told that a really good move is to just pour your cup of coffee in the morning into the Huel shake. I bet that's really good. Yeah. Especially with vanilla, like a Mm vanilla becomes a vanilla coffee shake. So I might try that tomorrow if I need a little boost of energy. But so- To get back to my point, though, that's great and all, but like, you know, shake, meal replacement shakes, you know, they've been around a long time. Uh, Remember Slim Fast? You ever, you ever drink a Slim Fast? Uh, I actually probably have, but it's been a really long time because it's like, it's like it was, it was probably if I drank one, it would have been that my mom was having them. And I was like, let me see what that tastes like. So I don't remember. My mom would have them to take to work with her and stuff. And I would have one every now and then. They were really good because they were just friggin' crammed with sweetener. Mm-hmm. I mean, they were so sweet that my memory of them is painful, like the taste. <laughs> but um, so I'm not like I'm not I'm really not here to proselytize it, but I want to point out. So to have a meal talking about the Huel hot and savory stuff, to have a meal that's a little under four dollars that tastes at least pretty good, that's hot, that's completely nutritionally. And that's something I forgot to mention. The big deal is they're nutritionally complete meals. So you can eat just them and nothing else and be fine because they have all of the nutrition necessary. Mm-hmm. So to eat a meal that's only $4, completely nutritionally uh, good, vegan, low salt, low sugar, um, and it's ready in five minutes, for me, that's a game changer. I know that other people may not find that impressive, but like for it to be as easy as making a bowl of ramen and be that good for you is like is massively change- game-changing for me. That's it really great. is that that's really good yeah i mean especially like i mean if if they're your big problem is convenience that totally makes sense i mean convenience Um, is in there that's the thing it's not the biggest problem but it's in there mm -hmm. so it's like being able to go like i'm hungry because the problem is when you when you start to lie to yourself to you know to get your next fix uh, Mm um you know uh when you're addicted to food per se um the first thing you think when you're hungry is like, oh, I'm so hungry. It's like, okay, well, you know, I have the blah, 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 and the blah, blah, blah. And it's like, ah, yeah, but then I got to make, I got to do that. And then a dish will be dirty. And then like, and then all of a sudden you're like, yeah, you're right. I should just get, you know, a thing. Mm-hmm. Um, although a funny story, 
the first go around when I was intensely vegan, people would always say like, well, it's pretty inconvenient though. I mean, like what's a vegan food meal you can like, or what's vegan food you can just eat, you know, conveniently. And I was like, um, apples, bananas, broccoli, carrots, like Mm -hmm. all plants nearly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But that being said, it does get boring sometimes. Um, so it's nice to know that like, if I'm hungry and I'm like cravy and I'm like, no, but I want to get my junk food. It's like, well, in five minutes, just eat your fucking Mexican chili. And if you're not happy after the Mexican chili, we'll talk. That's how I deal with myself. And it's working. Okay. Uh, yesterday I ended up eating an extra Huel shake cause I was hungry and grouchy and I was like, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll have, the, but I'm just going to have an extra shake. I'm not going to have anything bad. It'll just be extra calories is the only negative, but I'm not trying to lose a crazy amount of weight. I'm just trying to feel better so that I can get my stamina up to, to do this movie and to be better in general. Cause you know what, what, what really fucked me on the lockdown wasn't, I mean, I, I shouldn't have been just eating whatever I want on the lockdown, but the problem was the promise, the constant promise that the lockdown would end really fucked me. Mm-hmm. Well, though, no, because it was like when it started and it was like, okay, so I'll probably be locked up in here two to four, maybe five weeks. And I was like, well, all right, I guess I'll have a pizza party. Like, it's all right, I'll live, you know, a month of eating, you know, eating mostly takeout ain't going to hurt me. And then, you know, one yeah later. And I'm like, why am I so fat? I don't understand why I'm so fat. How did I get so fat? <laughs> so, you know, I've been fighting that off, too, because that that's one of the things that helped me gain you know, a bunch of weight was just like, and I was nervous and stressed, which yeah. is the other reason it seemed reasonable to just eat junk food. The whole, when I thought the pandemic, the lockdown pandemic would only be a little while was I was like, and I'm so stressed out and so nervous about what's going on. So yeah, I'll just, I'll just junk food it out until, until things turn around. Yeah. So, but it, it must be hard for you to hear this stuff being so fucking perfect, Michelle. I'm sorry. I'm not perfect, though. You have really good. Well, okay. I'm not going to say you have good ad- habits or attitudes toward food. You have some unhealthy, maybe, attitudes toward food. Okay. Dumpster bread soup. You ate it all. No, I, I ate it for like five days. And then I was like, I have, that's enough. <laughs> five days is a really long time to eat. It some- might have been four days. I could be. <laughs> <laughs> No, I, no, I'm just saying that, you know, you, you, uh, you definitely, you have a good, you overall have a really good relationship with food. I'm jealous of you. Oh, I'm sorry, I guess. Um, no, no, it's fine. But I mean, it, it's, it's not for me. Cause, cause I don't like, I like food, but I'm, but like, responsible I also, adult. <laughs> no, <laughs> I like cooking though. Like, yeah, like, I really like cooking um i like to like listen to music and dance and cook so why have you never done that for me you never listen to music and dance when you've cooked for me i don't ever dance for other people when i'm cooking (laughs) that would be weird so like you know like i really i really enjoy like spending like an hour or something just like making things Mm -hmm. to eat so except when i'm really depressed and then I don't want to, but I still have to because I don't have any other options because there's nothing in my house. <laughs> that was where I was at. Like, literally the next thing I was going to say is like, me too, except when I'm depressed, which can yeah. be more often than I would like to be, to be frank. So, yeah, I mean, but then I'll like, instead of being like, oh, I'm going to make something, you know, that I really like that takes a while, I can be like, uh, I guess I'm going to make, um, I don't know, a thing that takes less time, that's <laughs> less involved, whatever yeah. that is yeah yeah (laughs) well no and and that's so that's the other thing so uh when i'm depressed and stuff then i get anxious about the dishes i create Mm -hmm. because i know one day i gotta clean those um but with this huel hot and savory all i need is my kettle you know my electric kettle Mm -hmm. and it comes they give you this uh really nice cup this uh hard plastic cup and you just put your two scoops in and then fill it to the line, stir it really good, seal the cup, and it give it ten minutes or five minutes to cook. And then you're done. And then when you're done, you can basically clean that thing with just really like spraying it with hot water because it there's barely anything in there. 
Right. Okay. That's good. So that's, so my point is that like, that's another feel good element for me is that I'm like, oh, okay. And then when I'm done, just, do, 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 and okay, it's all clean. It's done. It's done. I'm just going to go sit down now. You know, <laughs> one day when I'm rich, I'm going <laughs> to buy you a dishwasher. I hate them. I think that you could like them if I buy you a good enough one. <laughs> I my think that's true with everything. Yeah. I mean, my <laughs> dishwasher, like I thought I hated it, but it, it turned out it was just, I was using the wrong, like the wrong or not good detergent. And once mm. I figured out the right detergent, it's, it's good. You just put okay. stuff in there and it washes them and you take them out. And they're okay. really shiny for some reason. I mean, it sounds made up, but okay. Mm. No, I, I just, growing up, we always had that dishwasher where you had to fucking wash the dishes to put them in the dishwasher. Yeah. yeah. I hated I, that. I mean, you do have to like rinse, not rinse them, but make sure they don't have like giant globs of food on them, you know, or no, like I, yeah. a steak. <laughs> no, I, I, yeah, I, I know. I, and then none of these are things that I think are good. It's not like good that I don't want to ever wash my dishes. You know, it's. I mean, it could also be that like, if you have a dishwasher, maybe you don't want to take the dishes out of the dishwasher. Because that's really annoying. Yeah. No, I would probably just let them live there. Mm -hmm. I'm bad like that. I have yeah. like dishes just hanging out in the drying rack until I need I need them. Oh, me too. We also, we live alone. So it's, you can yeah. get away with that shit. Yeah. And I'm uh, just <laughs> using the one fork over again. I'm just going to leave it here. When So when I started living here by myself. This sounds so ridiculous, but I literally like threw away all of my plates. That's not true. I didn't throw away all my plates. I threw away. I had like a bunch of like weird odds and ends plates that I'd gotten over the years. I got rid of all of them and then just obtained four plates. That way I could never get more than four plates dirty. Okay. Um, and I did the same thing with forks. I had like all these mismatched old forks and stuff. So I was like, no, I have like four forks. And, and like four spoons, because that helped a lot. Because, you know, if you yeah, run out of yeah. stuff to eat with, you will do the dishes. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. Yeah. I'm late. I'm a lazy piece of shit, Michelle. I get it. You just <clears throat> have other things going on that are more important than dishes. I get that I don't <sighs> have anything going on that's more important <laughs> than dishes. You have good discipline, though. You just have good discipline. Uh. I just really don't like the idea of food sitting around in the outside mm -hmm. world where things could eat it, like ants <laughs> or bacteria. Yeah, I, I when uh, I'm not as bad with my sink when I'm a meat eater because meat is gross. Mm -hmm. But when mm -hmm. it's when it's like corn on the cob, I'm like, ah, eh, I'll just spray it down the drain. I've got a garbage disposal. I'll just yeah, spray it down the drain. Nice. You know, I'm like, oh, okay, that's fine. So, <laughs> um. But yeah, no, I, food has always been a battle with me. It's always been a struggle with me. I'm trying my best to do better because <clears throat> I was doing better for a while. Yeah. And then, uh, and then the pandemic was the final like monkey wrench in my plans to keep trying to do better. I think that happened to a lot of people. Yeah, I try not to okay. just hate the people who are like, man, I did everything I ever wanted to do during the, the lockdown. I finally started that LLC, started eating right, started doing Pilates. And I'm just sitting there like, I can't wait to read your obituary. What, what people do you even know that have said that? Very few. Yeah. I don't know anyone who is like, oh, my life is so much better now. No, it's actually very, very few. Mm -hmm. uh, like, like just a couple yeah. who are like that. So. Uh, the bastards uh, <laughs> but uh so we we got that out of the way i just want to talk about that for a minute and hopefully i'll have more good news today i've been kind of my mood's been all over the place i've been kind of feeling depressed mm -hmm. um if i keep feeling that way i think i'm gonna go get myself a vegetarian burrito bowl i don't think that that will damage my diet at all um that sounds good. i mean i'll still be in my calorie i'm not even counting calories it's just like a reference like when I had an extra shake, I'm like, yeah, but that means I'm like at like 1600 calories. And that's still not that much. Like mm -hmm. that, it's not that I have a set amount of calories. I'm just yeah. trying to eat better. And then also the next step is eat less. First mm -hmm. is eat better. The next is eat less. Mm -hmm. That's why I'm sitting on the couch with a knife, uh, carving off chunks of green apple and then dipping them in peanut butter. I'm Aww. like, well, it's not less fattening, <laughs> but it's not a fucking French fry <laughs> bitches. So 
I'm so I'm so stupid. I'm sorry. I I've always said like I should talk about my food issues on the show more, and then I'm like, oh god, when they hear myself talking about my food issues on the show. Oh no, it's okay. Well, it's hard. It's you know, I've been as low as an adult. I've been as low as 164 pounds. That was right at my surgery when I got my gallbladder mm-hmm. taken out because they weighed me on that bed that weighs you, so that they don't give you too many drugs and kill you. Mm-hmm. And then um, I started putting weight weight back on because uh, before that I had went from I was at two twenty and I dropped down to one sixty four. Mm-hmm. Then I started the weight started coming back. I had a bunch of really stressful things. I went through a really awful breakup and uh, I took on a the most stressful job in my career and. It was just hard. Like I would try to I'd do better for a little while, but then I wouldn't do so good. Then I'd do better for a little while. Then I wouldn't do so good. And uh, <clears throat> I did really well in 2018. The start of 2018, I lost like 25 pounds. So I got myself back down to like 180, 170. I remember because my pants kept like falling off <laughs> and I, I had to tie the, 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 you know, the, the drawstring. Cause I, all my pants are made by my mom and they're basically pajamas. Cause I am a grown ass man, <clears throat> but, um, yeah. So, but then I fell off on that. I forget exactly what happened, but I didn't gain a lot when I started really truly gaining hard was pandemic time. Mm-hmm. So, um, and I want to mention real quick, I love everyone who listens to this and I love everybody who cares to know what I'm doing with my life. Um, If you have a bunch of diet advice, keep it to yourself. (laughs) Unless it's like hyper constructive. Like I know another way to eat vegan really fast and cheap. Keep it to you. If if, if it's going to be like, Hey bro, that's awesome. But like uh, I do, you know, nothing but pistachios and beef jerky. That is awesome. That's what you're doing. That is not what I'm doing. Although pistachios sound amazing. And now I really want a fucking bag of pistachios. I was going to say, we're not going to have pistachios. Oh, we can have pistachios, just not the beef jerky. My point is that like, I'm not, I'm not on a high protein diet. I'm not doing that. That's just not what I'm doing. I'm not doing keto and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. That's I've chosen not to do that because I find that I'm, that I feel better and more well when I don't. So technically what I'm doing is I guess a high carb vegan diet. Although I'm avoiding, you know, like processed grains as much as possible with the Mm -hmm. occasional ramen for joy. Uh, (laughs) But no, so I mean, yeah, I'm not, I'm not trying to be a jerk, but at the same time, it's like kind of keep it to yourself unless it's, unless it's directly constructive because uh, diets are like religion. Everybody's Mm got to like get in. Even I, I can't help but like, I'll meet somebody who's been struggling and struggling and they're losing weight really slow. And part of me wants to chime in and be like, I know a way you can lose it way faster. You know, but then I'm like, you know what? Did they ask? Mm -hmm. Of course, then they ask and then they're still mad at you. Yeah. So there's that too. So, but I want to get off that topic and real quick, I want to talk about something important. How's home inspector school going, Michelle? Oh, (laughs) it's going, it's going okay. Uh, I, I, I am learning about, um, like addicts and stuff and like drug addicts yeah addicts full of drugs yeah exactly no no like drug addicts like when they come in your house um and you you find them during an inspection (laughs) um no like the ones that are high up not not that high but high in your house they look like (laughs) this inside and i'm learning about ventilation in them and house ventilation and stuff i knew you were learning about ventilation because you told me that you were terrified that you don't have proper ventilation in your house yeah yeah i mean i i know i shouldn't be because it's an older house and most older houses have very good ventilation so good that they don't keep the heat in which (laughs) is not good but it's good for the house it's good for the house because the house gets to stay all dry and doesn't get mold all over it but then also you're cold but that's okay because i don't care (laughs) as long as my house is okay that's Michelle in a nutshell. I don't care about me as long as whatever else is fine. Yeah, exactly. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> but I don't have proper attic ventilation. Uh, I mean, it's close, but I don't have um, soffit um, vents because I don't really have soffits. So, so what are you going mean, to do I, about it? I, I figured I'd just like go up there and just poke some holes mm-hmm. 
some and that ventilation way, holes. Yeah, and that way I'll be like, it's good. And then if I ever sell my house, a home inspector will come and just like laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but just imagine if you ever sell your house, you'll be like following the home inspector around and he'll be like, I don't know about this. He'll be like, no, it's fine. Yeah, I can show you why it's fine. Here. <laughs> it's totally the code. Yeah. Um, yeah. Oh, but I got, so I went to to, a, to Home Depot and I got. Um, Were you going uh, to say a store, but then you decided to name it? Yes. Okay. <laughs> um, I got a, a non-contact voltage. Uh tester oh yeah yeah and it's so cool the little pen yeah and i like putting it near the outlets and some cords and then it changes color yeah 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 i have one for when i when i do uh you know movie work where you're using electricity Mm -hmm. because it's it's not just um for safety's sake because really there's like the days of like needing an electrician to like plug into the the breaker Mm -hmm. those days are mostly they're not entirely but they're mostly gone Nowadays, all the lights are LED. You're not going to flip breakers very much or anything, but it saves you a lot of time when you find a pile of cords. Oh yeah, and you're like, and what? you can just find out which one's live, so you can get plug in your light in. You know, save, a, it'll save you good. three minutes. Mm-hmm. Um, so I like that. So I have a voltage tester. Cool. I'm supposed to use them to to be careful, so that like I don't like an electric panel when you open it up. You have to make sure that it's not all charged and gonna kill you so well i'm glad that you're not dead is my point i also got a uh like an outlet uh check thing i don't know why i can't say things you know like the thing you stick in the outlets to see if they're grounded correctly oh yeah yeah that has it that has a, a gfci um thing that you can press and then it trips the gfci outlets you know, to make sure that they mostly, work. Yeah. Mostly, you know? yeah. <laughs> like, so I was playing around with my kitchen one. <laughs> it's tripping it. <laughs> Michelle straight be tripping up in here. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I, I have to admit, I'm a little uh, startled by how exciting things have been over there for you. I'm sorry. I'm happy for you, though. No, it's okay. They're They're not exciting. Well, have you learned anything shocking or surprising that you would have never guessed? Um, not, not really. Um, hold on, I'll, I'll try to think of something. Um, um, I'm trying to look at what nothing, I wrote down on the sheet. Nothing oh, makes me good. happier than putting Michelle on the spot. That's really like the highlight of my life. Oh. Oh, I learned. Okay. So this is dumb, but I didn't know what it was. <laughs> you know, that, that house wrap, that Tyvex, Tyvex, you oh, know, yeah, 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 yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, I didn't know what it was. I just thought it was a thing. So I know what it is now. What is it? It's like an, it's like, um, it's an air barrier for like wind. So oh, okay. yeah, I didn't know that. Not oh. for like moisture or anything. It's just for like wind basically. I think maybe we should make a plan where from here on out, like every episode of the show, there's like a five minute segment where Michelle teaches us something new about houses. <laughs> I mean, at least then you'd be able to prepare. Yeah, I guess that's true. Although, I mean, I think that the, the highlight of the show is just when I sideswipe you with just like when I, when I, when I crowd you and make you come up with something. So, I mean, really, you know, you know, I mean, Michelle's a smart person. She knows that the entire show is about making her uncomfortable. Like that's the entire point of the show. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm not a better friend. No, it's okay. I, I knew. 